My name is Matt Tucker, and this is my yellow belt exam for coding dojo. Um, I got this option one for, or option A I guess it is, for my assignment and replicating it. Um, so here's what it came out looking like. And then I'll guess I'll show you the code and kind of try to go along with that. So here I have it all condensed. Um, my head, typical things. I uh, have this bootstrap in here that I don't necessarily need. Other things anyways. Um, I decided whenever I was looking at this to go with the approach of doing this in five separate columns. It seemed like the best layout looking at this and then I was going to align them all just as they are, you know, no no particular displays, put all the different uh, bottom margin on all of these elements here and all of the margins in between. Um, and then the images, I figured I'd put them all as auto heights so that everything would resize itself as I went down the columns vertically. Um, built all this out. The only things I didn't really do was put these images in there as the actual buttons. On mine, I see I just have there's the little letters for which each one is. I didn't rip those images. But everything here is, I actually put in all these P tags and this is the actual button and everything was done. So I guess let's dive into some of the code. So here's my main content where I have my five columns for all of the images. Then in one of these I created a separate div for each image block. So that would be one of these image blocks here. Might be better if I did the inspect for you. So it was one of I well, can't really select it there, can I? <laughs> well, can't grab the whole thing, but it is, in fact, this entire div here. So, then in that div, each one of these has an image, which I just have as these placeholders and then putting the size I want. And H2 for these titles here that you see on each of these images. And then I created a separate div for what I called upload info. That would be when it was uploaded and then this like with the heart symbol. Those had a little bit different background. Let's see there I clicked. Refresh that. Pull that down. So that's basically what you're going to see as you continue down throughout these columns is all the separate image ones. Uh, you're going to see something different on this fourth column here that's going to be this Facebook like post. So I had to change, or I put another ID on it so I could access it directly. Um, I had it as an image just for kind of testing it out for a little while just to get the size. What I ended up doing was cropping this out of the picture that they gave us. You might be able to see it a little bit here. I actually <laughs> erased the text off of the Facebook and then put on my own text on top of it. And that's just kind of how I address that. Um, let's see what else did I do here. That's basically it besides the standard things. I took that image out. The opacity here. Um, as far as functionality jQuery, I didn't actually do tooltips. These are just titles on the HTML tags. And whenever you hover over them, it will show you the title of the image box. And then in the option, it said just to either the image would zoom or it would just re be replaced by another image. So instead of doing a click and it turning in back into what it was here, I just have it click once and it stays as that image and you'll see all of these will do that and it's just one set image that goes to the 150 by 200 nothing too excitingly fancy with that but I felt that that matched their requirements um, 